Well, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick, and this is this is the outdoors, believe it or not. I'm in the indoors, but I am in the outdoors. I'm still winter camping for whatever bites, pike, walleye, perch. But today I'm actually going to take the truck. I'm gonna go try somewhere else for pike. And then maybe come back here at the end of the day for walleye or something like that again. Like yesterday, it didn't really happen, but it could change quite quite fast day to day. I've got one flag out right here already, just as I kind of get ready for the day, get my truck packed, get everything organized, make sure I don't forget anything because I'm not gonna be within walking distance of the shack. So that being said, we're gonna have some breakfast here, some orange juice and yogurt, get everything organized, set up and go fishing for the day. I'm, uh, I'm excited, I'm excited to go try a new area here for uh for pike that i haven't fished yet so or attempt to we'll drill some holes and see what depths are anyway maybe i'll end up nowhere near where i want to be but we are going to try first i keep looking out my flasher because i got a walleye down there or i'm trying to fish for walleye i keep glancing at my flasher see if something's coming up but let's get all organized set up go fishing We are finally set up. We got one flag here, underwater camera going. One now over there, obviously underwater camera going. And now we just sit and wait. It's supposed to be a beautiful day. The fog is starting to burn off. It's 9.30. I don't think I got to the lake yesterday even until about one. So hopefully a couple extra hours will be good for us. I'm excited to try this area today excuse me and then uh tomorrow we'll actually fish near the home base and then take down the shelter as the day goes we we'll kind of have the flags flying this this will be the last pike fishing i do for a little while i'll probably do some into in april at some point after this i'll probably transition to some more lake trout here i believe will be the plan or the the yeah the plan of attack type of thing so we just sit and wait. We got great visibility right now with underwater camera. Yesterday I noticed a few times that some current must've been going through there and I get some sediment here and there. But like I said, great visibility right now. Fingers crossed. right there. I must have hit my bait. Come on, buddy. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them. There's two of them. That's a small one there. That's definitely a small one. This is crazy. I just came over to check my camera. That fish totally had that bait for a second. He must have moved it. It's two of them cruising through here right now.
Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, buddy. Eat it. Yes. Yes. Okay. There we go. It's small. It's not that big of a fish. That flag's going to go right away. There we go. What the heck? My slip knots. My slip knot went through. I have to tighten that. This is pretty good timing that I'm here right now. <laughs> Crazy timing. It's gonna clear the hole real quick. He might have dropped the bait. My slip knot totally slid through on that fish. Feel weight. I'm gonna set it. Oh, well, at least I know there's fish in the area. That was my mess up. There's the bait right there. I'm not gonna lie, when I felt weight, um, that was the ice. That wasn't the fish. That was a pretty uh, rookie mistake on my half, my behalf. But we got another bait down there right now. One bait sitting there. At least, like I said, I know there's fish in the area. Oh, there we go. Flag right there. That fish definitely has been messing with that flag a little bit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take pliers with us too. Oh, there we go. He's running. He's running. He's running. Tip that rod down. Pull the eye fish pro out. Pull a little bit of line. Close my bail, check my drag, I like it. Reel till it's tight. And then set up. That was a little bit better hook set on this one, Clayton. Last one I went, ooh, ooh. Come on, can't tell size. I don't think it's that big. Feels pretty head shaky. Come on, buddy. Not, not screaming runs either. It's got a little bit of weight to him, but I bet you that same fish that was here earlier picked my bait up and then dropped it, so. Stuck at the bottom of the hole. Oh. Got a little bit of oomph to him. I don't think it's tiny. Come on, buddy. Here it comes. Here it comes. There's my slip knot. Oh, it's coming up tail first. <laughs> it's wrapped, that's why. And it's not that big. Okay, she wrapped up pretty good here. It's not big, it's not tiny, too big to keep to eat for sure. We'll get the hook out quick. Hooks out, nothing to it. Easy game, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get you unwrapped from the line. Show you off quick, about a 31 inch or something like that. Decent fish, but not what we're after. You can, you can go back there, buddy, now. You can leave me alone. See ya. See ya. Okay, well, demolish that bait. We're gonna, we're gonna get a fresh one on there.
Oh, flag, 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 flag. Flag, 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 flag. Flag, flag, oh, pliers, 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 pliers. Pliers, 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 pliers. here still going come on buddy we got you I think we got you it's peeling line I know that sometimes that the bigger ones don't always peel right away they usually kind of grab the bait and then they just have to swim away slow for the most part doesn't mean this fish isn't big, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's that big. Just from my experience, for the most part, that the small ones seem to kind of peel more line than the big ones do right off the start. This flag's been hot today, really hot today. Come on, buddy, where are you? I don't think it's that big. Doesn't feel heavy. It's not bad, not bad, not bad, not a bad fish. Like a, probably a 33 inch or something like that. We'll get the hook out quick here, right in the corner. Nothing to it at all. Back it down, she goes. Thanks, buddy. Like I said, the smaller, even the medium sized fish, they don't really seem to, or no, let me rephrase that. The bigger fish don't seem to like peel line out all the time. Obviously, it can happen. But for the most part, the bigger ones kind of grab the bait and just slowly swim away. The small ones hit the bait and then just like take off. Deadly. Let's get this bait set back up and then we'll go through the rigs. I'll, I'll rig one for you how I rig these baits. Okay, super simple. Here's what I use. Three items. American fishing wire that is 26 pound, seven by seven strand, and it's nylon coated. It is camo color. I like the nylon coated stuff. That is a treble hook. I believe that's a size, actually, that's a little bit bigger than I normally use. That's a size um, one, I believe. And then a barrel swivel. Don't quote me on that. I just know it's not a two. It could be a one, could be a one aught as well. Uh, usually I use a size two to four for the most part, depending on the size of bait, but I'm rigging one up for a little bit bigger bait right now. That would be a little bit too big of a hook for that size of bait in my opinion. So, but I'm rigging one up for a herring right here. So what I do is I tie a loop knot with this wire on both ends and I'll show you what the, the loop knot is here. I'll use this little uh, rope here real quick. Okay, let's see how this will turn out. Let's see how this will turn out with this rope here. So you take your, your wire, you start an overhand knot in that wire, but you don't cinch that knot all the way through. You leave a, you leave a loop. You take your tag end, bring it through the eye of your hook, then you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna go through that loop that you've created. You're gonna bring that loop down nice and tight to the eye of that hook. Then you're gonna take your tag end and you're gonna wrap it three times above that line that uh, is still connected to your, your wire, that wire that's still your, your solid piece of wire. And then after you have those three wraps, you're gonna bring your tag end right back through that loop that you've made. A little bit tougher with the rope. And then you'll cinch that tight. That is, uh, I think it's called a saltwater loop knot. This knot runs so true. It's like one of your best loop knots that you can get. I learned it from saltwater fishing in Florida from some of the guides down there. Perfection loop doesn't run true. What I mean run true is you have a line here or your wire here, and then it has like a perfect Y out. So there's no pressure on one more one side more than the other. It's right in the middle. Best knot you can tie for flies, for glide baits, anything that you need some kind of action on that bait. And also too, what this will do is it'll center your bait. So now when your bait's hanging down there, and if it's not perfectly centered down there and say it would, if you had it tight, it would more sit like that. It'll just slide right down there. So your heaviest part is straight down below you. Probably not the best job here, but we'll tie up the rig here real quick. 
So there, so I tie my loop knots at the top at my barrel swivel and then I tie my loop knot at the hook. This wire, this AFW, seven by seven, 49 strand, nylon coated is the best wire I've ever worked with. It is amazing. Actually, I need some more too. This has been the hot hole, super hot hole. My pliers are at the live well still, so if he's hooked deep, I'll wrangle the live well with him. I get this lens here, flipped quick. Oh, 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 got him. Nice. Can't tell size yet, but ooh, feels, feels good, actually. This one's been, this is probably the heaviest one of the day, I'd say. A little bit of weight to them. Not crazy heavy though. Definitely a little bit though. It's been the hot hole. Hot hole, got like that five, six inch Cisco on here. Ah, probably six inches. That single hook, that rig like I showed you that I tied up. Life is good. A little bit of weight to them. Definitely a little bit of weight. It had pulled a good chunk of line out here. Okay, we're getting close. Oh, stuck on the bottom. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. A little bit of weight, doesn't feel giant, but they're so hard to tell, right? Like, you don't know for sure. It's wrapped up a bit. Come on, come on. Stuck on the bottom of the hole. It's rolled up, I just wanted to unroll here for me. Come on, come on, buddy. Go down a bit. Go down a bit for me. Can I see him on the camera at all yet? There we go, there he goes, there he goes. I had the, I was trying to look to see if I saw him on the camera a bit. My swivel was stuck on the bottom of the hole a bit or my knot was. Feels good. Not bad, not bad, not a giant, not a giant. Hook's down there deep. I'm gonna go to the live, I'm gonna bring them out, show them off, and go live all with them. Probably like a 36, 37 inch or nice fish. I'm gonna go live all with them and get the hook out and release it there. Okay, hook's out. Back down she goes. Nice fish. Nice fish. See ya, buddy. Oh, there she goes. I let it slip a little bit too soon, but I saw her kick off. We're good. Well, it's time for lunch. And anybody that knows my channel, has followed me before, knows that I like to have some chicken noodle soup for lunch. I've got the cooker going right here already. Water, just put it in there. When it comes to a boil, we'll put that soup in there. Stir it up and enjoy. Great day so far, I'm not gonna lie. We've got three fish on the ice. A couple other flags, a couple of my probably fault, a couple just fish dropping flags because it happens, or not dropping flags, dropping baits because it happens. It's been a very enjoyable day. Hopefully ice a few more, and then we'll still be ending this video off with a good old fashioned catch and cook. The pike that I caught in my last video, I'll be eating it tonight, and uh, not sure what we're gonna have with it yet, but such an enjoyable day. This soup will be good. I really should have thought about bringing my stuff to cook the fish here for lunch and then have a, a smaller supper instead, like super supper. But that's okay. We'll have this for lunch and then we'll have the fish for supper. Mmm. Just gotta cool down now. Soup. Somebody requested merch that said, mmm, soup or hot soup or something. Soup, 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 soup. So good.
Oh, 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 fight, fight. I just changed my head camera battery too. Nice, 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 nice. That's a big bait too. Big bait on that one. Big bait. It's going. It's going. It's gonna go quiet. Got my pliers ready here. Clear the, clear the flag. Pull some out and then check my drag quick. I'm gonna tighten a little bit and then we're gonna reel into them. He either dropped it or it's coming right at us right now. I think it's there, it's just coming at us. Yeah, it's still there. Got him, nice. All I did was just keep reeling slow until I felt weight. It's coming right, oh, he's dropped it. No, nope, he's still there, it's just coming right at us. Sometimes you gotta keep up with those, that fish, because when you set that hook, it'll turn, it'll come right at you. Ooh, feels good, feels good. Got the live all ready, needed. Got my pliers here too, always ready. Feels good though. This one feels like, ooh, it's spinning. You can tell when it spins. This feels like, feels like the best one of the day, I'd say. It's got big head shakes, big violent head shakes. I'm already excited just to see what it looks like on the underwater footage. You guys have seen it already. I haven't seen it yet. Obviously I'll see it when I edit it. It's got some weight though. Definitely got some weight. Oh, 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 it's doing quick, quick movements. It's the only sign of it not being that big of a fish, but it's got some violent head shakes. Come on, baby. Has been a little bit of a slower afternoon so far. Had my soup about an hour and a half ago and haven't had a flag. I just checked my other flag, went back to the truck to change my head camera battery. And all of a sudden, just as I got it going, I saw the flag pop. This one feels good. Pretty sure we'll be going to the live wall with this one. Nice, violent head shakes. I love fighting these fish on a rod and a reel compared to just hand lining them. Oh, where are you stuck there, girl? There we go. Oh, 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 oh. It's definitely got some weight. Oh yeah, oh, that's a big mouth. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's big, it's big, it's big, it's big. Yeah, that's a big that one. Holy cow, look at that thing. Look at how thick that is. That thing is a slob. Unreal. I'm gonna get the hook out quick. Here is just in the side. Got a double hook on this one, Had a big bait. We're gonna put in the live wall and we're gonna get a measurement on it and then get it released over there. That is a tank. Tank, tank, tank of a fish. Oh, it's a big one. That's a big one. Where are you hooked there, buddy? Where are you hooked? It's under its little mandolin there, mandible. Come on, baby. One more spin and we got you out. Nothing to it. Oh, that's a, oh my goodness, that's a big fat one. That's a tank. Wow. Oh, that's big. Okay, got the fish in the live well. It's chilling. It's super, super healthy, like super thick. She's got so much energy in her. I'm gonna pull her up. I'm gonna put her on the measuring board quick and then we're gonna dump her back in, keeping her super healthy the whole time. Super important. I'm gonna grab it with my left hand so I can put it there and bring it up. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a tank. It's not crazy long, but is it girthy? Holy cow. 42, 42 inch slob right there. It is so, so thick though. Get your tail out, girl. Unbelievable, I got bad lighting because of the truck, but this is where my live well is, so it's all good. Again, not out of the water that long. Fills up that 10 inch hole. Unbelievable. Big fish, probably like 18, 19 inches around. Monster. Let her sit here for a sec. As you saw in the live all, she had a pile of energy. Now we'll just let her hit a good, a good kickoff. There she goes. Awesome. Well, a little bit slower, but that's what we're waiting for. So good. Oh, well, we got that herring set up again there that was on the bigger bait like a 10 inch herring i've been running six inch ciscos and 10 inch herring herring is technically a, a cisco but you have i don't even know what the whole the, the way the it works but there's lake herring atlantic herring or something like that 
not even positive because I know a Cisco and a Herring are technically kind of the same thing. Somebody in the comments will explain this to me, I'm sure, because you guys are always the best for that. I have a, a question or I'm not sure about it. Somebody that's watching this video will know exactly all about the Herring and the Cisco family. Anyways, what a fish, what a day, like beautiful out. That's my fourth pike iced. Had two other flags, I think, go off to go with it. And yeah, icing on the cake right there, baby. Maybe put a couple more on the ice and then go back to home base and have a, a fish Friday night. What a day. Oh, flag, baby, flag. Flag, baby. Oh, 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 what's going on? Did I not open my bail, my rod or something? What is going on there? What is going on? Something's locked up. Something's locked up. There it goes. There it goes. Just took a minute for it to go. Oh, my bail is open. My bail flipped. That was my bad. I don't know if he still has it or what. My bail didn't, my rod fell over, my bail closed, I think. I'm not sure if he still has it or not. Darn it. Oh, other one's going, jeez. My other flag's going over there right now. Crazy, crazy. I don't have my pliers with me. That one is going fast and hard. I just had a false flag on the other one. Got it fixed. Look over and the flag's up. It's going fast. Wow, 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 wow. We are on them right now. We are on them. I don't have my pliers with me, so we're going to the live well with this one. Amazing. Amazing. Got him. Got him. That was crazy. That flag had gone off. It could be the same fish that ate that one and then dropped the bait. I'm rubbing against my camera right now. I can feel it rubbing against the cord. So I'll have to be careful with that. It's got some weight to him. Lots of weight to him, actually. I don't know if I'm pulling the camera right now. If I don't have the camera at all, I could have the camera right now a bit. We'll see. If I don't have the camera hooked, it's a big one. But I think he might be on the other side of the camera a bit. But my camera's pretty low on the ice. I should be okay. I might have to pull my camera up on this one. I think he's got the end of the camera. So we'll pull it up quick. Yeah. We'll loosen our drag off. Pull it up. I'm fighting the camera right now. Good chance he breaks this off. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Put this in here real quick. Try to get it off the camera easy. Right here, see it got hooked in funny. That's why, it got hooked in really funny. He must have got high on me. Yeah, he wrapped pretty good too. He wrapped really good. Okay, we free the camera. Yeah, we still got him, still got him, still got him. All we did was just loosen our drag off pretty good so we can pop him out of that camera. He's got some weight to him. Normally I don't get him hooked in the camera because that camera's pointed downwards and it's just below the ice, but this time it was. Oh yeah, that's a good one. 
That's a good one. That's a big fish. Big fish. Big one. Oh, baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm open my bail <laughs> so I can pull it out. The hook's right in the corner. Also, be an easy one to take off. That's a good fish right there. Big baby. Nice. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Hooks right here in the corner. I should be able to get it out. Right here in the corner of the mouth. I'm lucky I don't have to go to the live well with pliers. I can get it right here. Being barbless helps a lot. Nice. Nothing to it. One more show off right there. Solid fish. Everything probably 40, 41 inches. Big, big fish. Big fish. Heavy. Amazing. Amazing. Crazy to get stuck in the camera like that. I've been really lucky. Oh, where are you going, girl? There you go. There she goes. Awesome. I've been really lucky in the past and not getting stuck in the camera at all. And this time it it did. It actually got wrapped in there. Must have got high under the ice. And she come around it a few times and it happens, but I was able to pull the camera up, loosen my drag and get it off. What a day. Sweet home. Let's get some heat in here. Some lights on. Well, hello. Get the buddy here rocking. Would you like to come on? Oh, yes. I should have took my leftover sausage today. What was I thinking? Could have had Smokies out there. Well, let's. Let's get a flash in here just in case some walleye come by as I'm getting ready for supper. Oh, what a day. I'm back in main camp. Got a little bit of a disaster going on, which I'll organize and get cleaned up, but I've got my flasher down already. We're fishing for some walleyes as I'm starting to organize supper. Tonight, I'm having fried pike from last night and I think sidekicks. So what I'm gonna do is I will boil the water, cook the sidekicks on my uh, one burner first with a pot and then just as it's finishing I'll throw it on the buddy heater to let it simmer and cook the fish up in the, the oil with the same cooker but a pan what a day like amazing I'm so hungry right now <sighs> so good being outside all day look at like a little bit of sunburn windburn maybe something like that it's good feels good like March is here March is definitely here Warm weather, some of the best fishing is in March. So good. So this will be my second time having the catch and cook. It's really good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying this because Jay is my friend or because I'll have a code for you. Hopefully I have a code right here already. You can use that. I'm not even sure what the discount will be or anything like that yet when I'm making this video, but there will be something. If there isn't anything here, it's coming soon. I promise it's very good. Water is coming to a boil soon. In will go our sidekicks, add a little butter to it. And like I said, that'll go on the buddy heater then. And then we'll fry the fish up. And we're having cucumber, fish, and sidekicks. I've decided it's going to be good. So this is cool. My beacon stayed on my shelter all day, but when there's a lot enough light they don't go off and now that it uh the sun dropped and it's getting darker the beacons turn back on so i won't get hit by a snowmobiler hopefully awesome these tents do light up really well though too i'm inside i'm done cooking i didn't show a pile of the cooking process just because it got dark a little bit harder to film it i couldn't do the proper catch and cook like film it properly so i just got her done relatively quick it took a bit my sidekicks are as you can see a little bit runny my fish looks good though cucumber looks good 
orange juice. I'm fogging my camera up because I'm putting it over top of the hot food. But i am still got my walleye bait down there. I'm jigging for some walleyes as I'm eating. Boots are hanging to dry. I'm getting ready for tomorrow. Charging aqua views. Charging all my other batteries. Just, it never ends. It's like, you, it's funny because you, I have batteries to charge other batteries. It's just so ridiculous. But got another day on the ice tomorrow yet. And tonight's not over. I got a market on there right now. Oh God, I don't have any cameras rolling right now. Besides this one, I guess. I don't have a head camera rolling. But we'll put that on if we catch something. So let's eat. Oh, I'm What does that tell you? I'm tired. It is 11.50. Nothing for walleyes. Some marks came through. Nothing, nothing bit though. We got the flasher put away. Boots are drying. Aqua views are thawing out. Rods. There's tomorrow's lunch. We're gonna have some deer tenderloin with uh, some peppers. And I don't know what else yet, to be honest with you. I can't remember what else I bought. Other than that, I'm just kind of charging batteries, myself included, charging my batteries and then batteries for the cameras. Moving away from like the camp, the main camp today was a lot more work in terms of not being able to stay kind of as organized. Cause it's like, you almost ha I had like two setups, right? Like it was like, take everything with me. Tomorrow will be nice. Even though I'll be packing up a little bit tomorrow. But tomorrow will be nice because I'll get up in the morning, I'll get my tip up out right away, and then I can like say super organized. I can run the generator a bit longer and charge more batteries if I need to. The generator is a saver, savior right now for charging up all my camera batteries and whatnot. So remember, 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 remember. I mentioned this in my last video, but camping overnight, carbon monoxide detector. Test it. It'll go beep, 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 beep. It's probably loud for you guys. And it's gonna be four more times yet. B. that's i know it's working i said in my last video i keep it kind of at the height that i'm sleeping at i've never had it go off i'd like to get a another one that has the reading on it i have one at home somewhere i just can't find it so you can get one that actually has the the reading for what is in your your place in terms of carbon monoxide so you can know what the levels are i forget the numbers but I should do more research on that for sure, but please be safe. Be safe. Get some bungee cords like that, hang your little booties up there. Always super handy. Otter LED lights, those are turned down right now. Those ones are bright. Those ones are down. Oh yeah, Garmin in reach, I don't have service. This little Garmin in reach goes off of satellites and I can text people and let them know that I am safe. I have it hooked up to my phone bluetooth to my phone so i can text cindy or anybody and let them know that i'm a-okay it's a good thing to have if you're not going to be where there's no service for a while yeah thank you so much for watching this video it's probably a longer one not a lot of explanation explanatory explanations in it but if you take from the last video or talk a little bit about location and then today a little bit about the rig and tomorrow i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but hopefully we can ice a couple more big pike because the next video, if there, if I do catch a couple fish, will likely be my last pike video of the ice fishing season this year. Most likely. Not for sure, but most likely. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, get outside.